Hi guys, here's the video going over section 8.5 cryptography. As you can see, the video does look different from my other videos, mostly because um, I need to be able to record what I am doing on my calculator, since most of this stuff requires a calculator. Um, and I have not figured out how to get a calculator on my computer screen. So, here we go. So with cryptography, you are encoding and decoding messages. So right here, I have this listed as which letters correspond to which numbers, as well as a space which corresponds to zero. So the first thing we want to do is we want to write the uncoded row matrices of order one by three for the message owls are nocturnal. So what I wanna do is I want to replace all of my letters in that phrase owls are nocturnal um, with their corresponding letters. So the letter O, if I look over here, is 15. So I'm gonna write 15. I'm gonna cross the letters out as I write them out. W is 23. L is 12, S is 19, um, don't forget your space right here, which is going to be 0, and then I'm going to go ahead and continue to do all the other letters of this phrase. And again, don't forget the little space over here. So nocturnal, N is 14. O is 15, C is 3, T is 20, U is 21, R is 18, N is 14, A is 1, and L is 12. Okay. Now, the directions say to write the uncoded row matrices in the order of one by three. So that means I'm going to partition all of these um, numbers into groups of threes. So I have one by three, one by three, one by three, and it process just keeps on going. So when I ask for just the uncoded row matrices, that is what you are doing. Now, the second example is to actually encode the message. So I'm going to make a note that anytime you are encoding, you are going to multiply by matrix A. So I'm going to take all of these matrices that I have from example one, and I'm going to multiply it by matrix A. Now, the process of doing that in the calculator, you can do it a couple different ways. Um, I don't like to have to retype everything, so I'm gonna store matrix A into my calculator. So I have my calculator on. Um, to be able to get a matrix on the screen, I'm going to hit alpha and then zoom, and matrix A is a three by three. So I'm gonna adjust accordingly, and I'm gonna start to type in my numbers. As you're typing them in, just double check as you go because we want our matrices to be correct since we're going to be multiplying this matrix A by so many other matrices. I'm going to move out of my matrix and I'm going to hit the STO button. That is right here, right above on. And what that does is it's going to create an arrow on your calculator screen. And I want to store that as matrix A. So if you look at your calculator, right next to or right above your x to the negative one button it says the word matrix so anytime i talk about a matrix menu you're going to be going into here so i'm going to hit second x to the negative one and i want to replace it um, with matrix a so i'm going to hit enter and then enter again so now this matrix right here is stored in my calculator's memory so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take each one of these and I'm going to multiply it by my matrix A. So this matrix right here is a one by three. So I'm gonna type in my one by three, alpha zoom again, and that is 15, 23, 12, and I wanna take that and I wanna encode it, so I'm gonna multiply it by matrix A. So I'm gonna hit second, X to the negative one, select matrix A, and then hit enter. So those are going to be the first three numbers of your encoded message. Now, part of the reason why we want to encode a message is so that your message remains a secret. 
because if you found a piece of paper just with these numbers listed right here, you could easily figure out that it says owls are nocturnal by assigning one to A, two to B, and so forth. But when we encode it, you can see the 110, negative 39, and negative 59, you would have no idea that that spells O-W-L. So I did this one. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next one, but of course, I don't wanna to have to retype everything. So I'm just gonna move up until this is highlighted, hit enter, and then I'm just going to change these numbers to their appropriate um, numbers for that particular matrix. And then I'm gonna hit enter. And that gives me my next set of three numbers. And I'm just going to continue to repeat the process until I have encoded my entire message. So 18, 5, and 0. That gives me my next three numbers. I'm going to do it again. Uh, let's see, so I've done this one, this one. I need to do the 14, 15, and 3. That gives me my next three numbers. And I'm just going to keep on plugging stuff into the calculator. I'm gonna edit some more, 20, 21, and 18. That gives me my next three numbers. And I have my last three. So I'm gonna move up so I can edit that because again, I am lazy and I do not want to retype everything. And I have my last three numbers of my message. So 87, negative 38, and a negative 37. So if you were to find those numbers on a sheet of paper, you would have no idea that that message right there says owls are nocturnal. So that is encoding a message. Now what if I wanted to decode a message? So when you encode a message, you want to multiply by matrix A. When you decode a message, you want to multiply by the inverse. So A inverse, because you want to undo the process that somebody did with the encoding. So I'm going to go ahead and store my new matrix A into my calculator. So I'm gonna clear this out. I'm gonna hit alpha zoom. This right here is a three by three. I'm gonna type in my numbers. And again, I am double checking as I go. I'm gonna triple check. One, two, two, three, seven, nine, negative one, negative four, negative seven. Okay, and I want to store that into my calculator. So I'm gonna hit STO right above on. That's going to give me that arrow. And I want to replace this with my uh, matrix A. I want to replace the matrix A that's already in my calculator with this. That's what I meant to say. So I'm gonna hit second, x to the negative one, because that's gonna take me to my matrix menu. Hit enter, and then enter again. So now I have this in my calculator's memory as my new matrix A. So if I look at matrix A, matrix A is a three by three, which means my original message was partitioned to one by three matrices. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this apart into groups of threes. Now let's say when you break it apart into groups of threes, this last one didn't actually have those last two numbers, so you just had that 26 hanging out out there, which is not going to fill a one by three matrix. If that's the case, you can just put in zeros, okay, until you can fill out um, the one by three matrix. So as my little note right here, I want to multiply by um, A inverse. So in my calculator, I'm gonna take each one of these and I'm going to multiply it by A inverse. Now order matters with matrix multiplication, so your one by three has to come first. Otherwise, you are going to get an error. 
So I want to take this and multiply it by A inverse. So I'm going to go into my matrix menu, second x to the negative 1. Select matrix A, but of course this is the inverse, so I need that negative 1 there. So I'm going to hit x to the negative 1. And then I'm going to hit enter, and then that is going to give me these three numbers um, decoded. And then I'm going to go ahead and run through the rest of these. So again, I don't want to have to retype everything, so I'm just going to edit what I already have. And that's going to give me my next three numbers that have been decoded. And do the same thing. Next three numbers. And doing it again, which is 26. 56, 64, and that gives me 14, 4, and 0. So now that I have decoded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look back at what each letter represented, um, what each letter was represented by in terms of um, the numbers. So let's see, 5 corresponds to E, 14 is N, 5 is E, 13 is M, 25 is Y, O is a space, so I have the word enemy. Let's keep going, 6 is F, 15, O, 21, U, 14, N, uh, 4, D and zero is a space. So my message says enemy found. All right, so that concludes your lesson for section 8.5.